Today, we are narrating one of the most shocking and unbelievable events that took place in Iraq. Iraq was being governed by Shah Faisal those days, the king of Iraq and Syria. Shah Faisal was the last successor of the throne of Iraq. He was a just ruler. One night, what he sees in his dream is that Sahabia Rasul so Hazrat Huzayf bin Yemen comes to meet Shah Faisal. Hazrat Huzayf bin Yemen tells him that two very dear Sahaba of Prophet peace be upon him have been buried near the river of Dajla, also called the river of Tigris. The direction of flow of the river is changing rapidly and the water is approaching our graves. The water has already reached the grave of Hazrat Huzayf bin Yemen and the grave of the other Sahabi Hazrat Abdullah bin Jabbar has started to get wet. You as the ruler of the region have to transfer our bodies to some other safe place. Shah of Iraq the next morning intends to visit Mufti Azzam but gets busy. The next night he has the same dream with Hazrat Huzayf bin Yemen telling him about the water of the river touching the graves but he fails to take any action. The third night the Mufti Azzam had the same dream. He immediately took the Prime Minister with him and went to Shah of Iraq. Shah Faisal was left astonished when he heard about the Mufti's dream. Different Muftis were counseled on the matter to make sure if the digging of the Sahaba's graves was permitted in such circumstances. A fatwa was immediately issued to dig up the graves of the Sahaba and transfer their bodies to a safe, dry place. A date was selected and announced in the newspaper. The selected date was the 10th of Zul Hijjah. The day comes and the streets of Baghdad were filled with people who had come from faraway places to spectate the event. When the final moment came, the people who have gathered there were astonished to the core. The coffin was bright white, as if it had just put there. The bodies of the Sahaba were fresh and untouched, as if they had just put to sleep in the grave. Their eyes were open with a certain shine. The blood was still oozing, fresh and red. There was a German physician in the crowd too. He requested Shah Faisal to have a closer look at the eyes of the Sahaba. He, on the sight of this, immediately converted to Islam because he could not believe that the bodies have been buried 1,300 years ago. The bodies of the Sahaba were safely transferred to a new safe place near the tomb of Hazrat Salman Farsi. And the news of the incident went viral throughout the world. A large population throughout the world converted to Islam. This event proved the verse of the Quran where Allah says that the bodies of the martyrs never decompose. Martyrs never die. Call them alive. The world had witnessed one of the most unbelievable and impossible events in the history. Human bodies cannot resist decomposition more than few hours. But since it was Allah's promise to his martyrs, the bodies of the martyrs were fresh as alive.